Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How many of you have ever experienced some kind of fear within yourself? Be it a fear of results, fear of failures, fear of losing someone, fear of death. There are so many kinds of fears. Okay, many of you. <clears throat> Until a year back, I always had a fear of failures. I was always focused on what may or may not happen, which was never in my control. And that fear always overpowered my creativity, my ability to go from good to be the best. And I always realized that whenever you fear something, it builds up a negative energy within your subconscious mind. And that negative energy always stopped me to deliver my best. Joseph Murphy, a well-known American author and writer, wrote in his book, The Power of Subconscious Mind, that whatever thoughts, beliefs, opinions, theories, or dogmas you write on your subconscious mind, you shall experience them as an objective manifestations of circumstances, events, or conditions. So basically, whatever you write on the inside, which is your subconscious mind, you shall experience on the outside, which is your conscious mind. <clears throat> subconscious mind cannot reason like your conscious mind. If you give it wrong suggestions, it is going to accept them as true and bring them to pass as circumstances, events, or conditions. There is a fervent need to condition your subconscious mind. My dad, who has been practicing meditation for years now, suggested me to make meditation a part of my daily routine and try and see if I can um, get over the negativity I was feeling due to the fears I had. <clears throat> and with the help of my dad, I started practicing meditation. It's been almost a year now I'm, I'm doing meditation, and I must tell you the results I have seen so far are very significant. I not only eliminated the fear of failures, but also meditation helped me realize my true potential. I now feel much more tranquility and positivity within myself, which earlier was absent. My perspective towards life changed. Today, I'm going to share with you all my practical and very simple understanding of why everyone should practice meditation. Most people I talk to about meditation related to getting calm, reducing stress levels, spirituality, etc., etc., which is kind of true. But today, I am going to relate it to medical science and tell you why I think meditation is science beyond science. <clears throat> Whole body, if I talk in terms of medical science, in terms of physiology, is made up of tiny particles called cells. And cells are further composed of atoms. Brain cells are very special. They have their own memory. Every incident, every experience in your life, good or bad, positive or negative, is stored in your brain cells memory. Now, according to meditative science, there is a constant vibration happening within our body which we realize with the help of various meditation techniques. What is this vibration? This is, this is the atomic vibration. Atoms are vibrating constantly within our body. And remember, these atoms are not solid particles. These atoms are made up of electrons, protons, and neutrons. And everybody knows what electrons, protons, and neutrons are. These are the energy particles. Let's pause for a second and try to feel this vibration and energy together. Please close your eyes and do this after me. <clears throat> trying to make is that the whole human existence <clears throat> is based on the vibration of energy. Where there is vibration, there is energy. Where there is energy, there is mass, the human body. E is equal to mc squared, Einstein's mass energy equivalence formula, which states that anything having mass has an equivalent amount of energy. 
Where there is vibration, there is energy. Where there is energy, there is mass. Now, where is this energy coming from? This energy is coming from those millions of impressions, incidents, circumstances, conditions we keep on experiencing in our day-to-day -day life. We make ourselves happy with the positive ideas or impressions, and we immensely injure ourselves with the negative ideas or impressions which we entertain. How often have you wounded yourself by getting angry, jealous, fearful, vengeful? These are the poisons which enter our subconscious mind. There is a need to release these negative impressions, this negative energy, before we attain self-realization. What is self-realization? It is to understand the self. What is ultimate self? It is nothing but unconditional love. Self is nothing but unconditional love. Other than unconditional love, every impression which I'm carrying within my body must be released or must be erased. And how we erase it? We erase it through meditation. We erase those negative impressions, that negative energy, through meditation. Meditation makes you feel your subconsciousness, purify your subconsciousness. Pure subconsciousness leads to a healthy mind. Healthy mind further leads to positive energy, which in turn converts into happiness, which ultimately gives rise to a healthy body. It is a full circle. It is the addition through subtraction. It is the science beyond science. Buddha was once asked, what do you gain from meditation? He replied, nothing. However, Buddha said, let me tell you what I lost. I lost anger, anxiety, depression, insecurity, fear of old age, and death. And that is the power of meditation. Thank you very much.